Let me go ahead and preface by saying I went to Colombia, Medellin in particular um, for the art, for the culture, for the history. And before you, before you think that I'm just lying, right, that I'm making it up, I read, uh, before I even obviously went to Colombia, I had read Gabriel Garcia Marquez, several novels of his. And from that, from those stories, I wanted to go. It was something I was fascinated with ever since I had read some of his novels. So when the opportunity presented itself, I jumped at it. I've already been there twice. And um, my perspective is a little different, right? Because I'm not coming from the lens of a passport bro and I haven't lived there, right? So I've, ju I've just visited. The other difference is I speak Spanish and quite well, might I say. Um, enough that I can converse um, with a native speaker, no problems. So, so like I said, I went with the intention of just kind of exploring the place. It wasn't like I went with the idea of uh, chasing tail. Although I will say back then, I did have sort of, I did have this sort of idea that, um, and I was enamored by the whole concept of having passport pussy, of the idea of accessing women solely because I had a passport, right? And so I wasn't just getting women in America, it was also getting women in other parts of the world. And that was something that I, I was fascinated by. I was thrilled at the opportunity of meeting women from different places. So this was an opportunity to do so as well. Like I said, on the side, that was not my primary reason for visiting at all. And in fact, you'll see why. So mind you, it is, it's, a, it's a beautiful city, city of spring, eternal spring. It's gorgeous. There's a lot to see, a lot to explore besides the typical spots that tourists tend to venture to. Um, and the interesting thing was, you know, I went there for about a week with my brother and um, I wasn't really talking to any women or anything like that. I did, however, do or commit one of the, one of the things they tell you not to do, right? Which was like, I used Tinder in, uh, in Medellin whilst I was there. Like the last two nights, I said, you know what? I haven't really tried to talk to any girls. Let's see what happens if I jump on the app. So I did end up like um, going back and forth with, with a girl who happened to be uh, from Venezuela. There is a lot of Venezuelans in Colombia. And so we were chatting it up. I eventually got her what's up. We were talking there for a while. And then on the last night there before I was leaving the next day, uh, I went out with her on a date went to just eat at some local spots. So she wanted me to go to her area, which I guess looking back, you could say, well, maybe that was a little bit, um, not the wisest idea, because we don't know if it could have been a setup. Um, but I trusted my gut in the situation. I had kind of vetted her out. We had spoken for a while. So, I mean, a while meaning like like a few minutes. So I figured that that, that was enough to be like, fine, I'll go out there. And it was probably one of the best decisions ever because we went to like this local park. It was just like, there was this vibe. I was like, oh man, this is like the, part of Medellin that tourists don't really go to, um, that sometimes if you meet a local or someone of the area, then you're going to get exposed to these areas. And it was a really nice spot walking around. It's just like a typical neighborhood. And so that's what, that was probably my favorite, uh, highlight of the trip was that part. And then, um, whatever I, you know, whatever we went on the day, whatever, hung out for a while, ate, drank a little bit. And then that was it. Like, that was the end of it, right? It didn't go any further than that. And then I left or whatever. I left the next day. That's, I mean, I don't really want to get into that story because it, it was just a one-time thing. Um, but the interesting thing is for a lot of guys that are curious about going over there and like you hear about all these stories about like, oh my God, the women are so beautiful. They're so nice. They're so different. Better than what you're used to back home. Yes, but let me say, if you're going over there for that reason, I think you're going over there for the wrong reasons. There are plenty of nightmare stories where dudes go over there, have no idea what they're getting themselves into, don't speak the language, and then they end up overdosed and dead in their Airbnb because, you know, because they fell for it, right? Because this is the other thing you have to keep in mind. There is a no hookup culture over there. You're either dating someone or you're paying for some, right? There's, there's no, isn't like here where you could pick up a girl at a bar or something like that. It's not like that. So that should already be a red flag for you. If a girl invites you over, she wants to come over, red flag, big time. Cause like I said, even with that girl, 
yeah, she managed, she wanted me to meet her in her area, but we were just gonna go out to eat. It's not like she invited me up to her place or was willing to come to mine, you know? So, so at least at that point I knew, okay, it wasn't like, this was a setup. And so I think if you're going with that idea in mind, I think you're gonna be dis severely disappointed, in fact. And I think if I'm gonna be honest with you and if I should have been honest with myself, if you can't get anywhere you are, what makes you think you're gonna get some somewhere else? Right? Think about that. So if you're not able to manage being able to get with women here, wherever you are, whatever here is home is for you, what makes you think that going to Colombia or going to South America or going to any of these um, hot spots for, for women makes you think you're gonna get any there? That should be the question you should ask yourself because I don't think it matters that much. Right? If I was able to get girls here, I shouldn't have had no problems getting girls there. And I think that's the difference maker. So if you're going with that with that intent in mind, just be aware, okay? Because plenty of dudes have gone over there and never came back, okay? Or never came back with the with, with their lives intact. And so to, to avoid something like that happening to you, I think it's best to be careful about the intentions in which you're going over there with, okay? Because I think if you're going just for, for that only, for women in particular, I think you're gonna be severely disappointed and you might not be getting the results that you hoped for, right? Because the way it's sold online is that it's like easy. And I don't know where people got that idea from. Yes, the women are nice. Yes, they're kind. Yes, they'll talk to you, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're interested in you. That's just the difference, right? Is the difference in the culture. Here in America, for example, if you talk to women, they might be completely turned off by you and then they'll give you a fuchi face. There, the women are a little bit more tolerable. But like I said, I think my perspective is a little different because I speak Spanish. So it wasn't, it's not with that same sort of, it's not so obvious that I'm from here, right? It is obviously, right? I'm not from there. But speaking the language, it puts me sort of like in the third space, right? I'm not, I'm, I'm obviously not a local, but I'm obviously not like, quote unquote, the typical foreigner. So that does put me in a different position. So that would probably be the first idea is, right? Get a little bit of Spanish. The thing is though, even if you get a little bit of Spanish to actually have a real conversation, you need to manage your Spanish very well. And I don't think, uh, I don't think enough of you are dedicated enough to do something like that. It does take a lot. Unless you're really committed to the idea that you want a chick from Latin America, Colombia in particular, Medellin even more specifically, then, then sure, right? Because there is a stereotype that paisa women are gorgeous. In fact, they are, but there's plenty of other parts of Colombia that have a lot of beautiful women as well. Um, so don't just set yourself up to Medellin because the other place I would recommend that I went to uh, was El Eje Cafetero, which is a little bit outside of uh, obviously Medellin, but it's, region it's fairly close. I mean, you can get there on a bus ride. I think those parts of Colombia were even more fascinating to me. Um, then there's a lot of pretty women in those areas as well. So maybe do Medellin, but definitely for sure check out these other areas where the women are not so exposed to a lot of the foreign tourists as much, and they may be more receptive to you. But like I said, if you're going with that purpose, I think you should rethink your strategies I think you should try to figure out what you can do at home first before you start trying to swing uh, away from home and uh, really, you know, have an honest appraisal with yourself and think, what do, what do I have to offer that I suddenly think that I can get that somewhere else? Okay, so just think about that. See you in the next one.